Hi, this is Eli Kranzberg, and welcome to this update on Logic 11.2. There are a lot of great new features and workflow enhancements, and I want to start by looking at the new Stem Splitter version 2. And it works with a new model that brings a significant quality jump and improvement. And in addition to better algorithms for detection, we can now also extract piano and guitar as individual stems. Plus, we now have presets for pre-selecting different combinations of stems to split out. And we have the ability now also to create an optional submix stem, summing any of the unselected instrument or vocal stems. So let me show you how this all works. I'm going to start with this finished mix here. I'll just give you a little sample of it. There's lots of vocals in here. And it affected lots of processing. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to go under the processing menu stem splitter. And you can also get to that from functions over here and stem splitter. So either way, it'll get you there. So we can select which stems we want to extract vocals, drums, bass, guitar, and piano are new, and then other. Now we can also, in addition to separating all the stems, have different combinations of stems that we can select in this preset menu, or of course we can just manually check on or off whatever it is we don't want extracted. For example, maybe I want to only extract the vocals from here. So we can optionally create a submix, and if you do that, we can then click in here and make sure to include or exclude any of the other stems that we're not using. So for example, maybe I want vocals and I just want to submix with just the drums and bass. I could do that if I want. And maybe I'll do that just to demonstrate it. We'll take all those out and I'll click done. And let's hit apply. So it's going to do its analysis. And that was really quick. Let's just zoom up here. And now we can see that it's created a track stack as expected. And it's muted the original. And now we have these stems. So here are the vocals. Very clean, all the effects. And now we should have just the bass and drums here. So very elegant way of extracting just what you need and creating submixes of optionally just what you need. So here's another example. I have a finished mix. Okay, so there's a guitar buried in there. Maybe I'm a guitar player and I'm going to be subbing with this band and I need to learn the guitar part and I want to focus in on that. So I'm going to call up Stem Splitter. And again, we can optionally extract everything. But what I'm going to do is deselect everything except for the guitar so that I can get that. And then I can optionally do a submix of the rest, which I think I'll do. And I can include or exclude any of these other elements, but I'll leave it just like that for now. I'll go apply. And the length of time, of course, is going to depend on the length of the song and the complexity, how much there is to analyze. In this case, I'm not speeding this up. This is real time on an M1 Studio Ultra computer. So I'm not the newest, but it's still pretty fast for what it's doing. And it'll mute the original and create those two stems now, one with just the guitar and then one with everything else. So here's the guitar part. So great job. Great way to learn the guitar part, if that's what I need to do. And then everything else without the guitar so I can practice along with it. Here's another example with some bass that's both synth bass and electric bass. And maybe I want to extract just the bass part. So again, stem splitter will be under processing. And then I'm going to extract just the bass. And maybe I'm not going to bother with the submix this time. Let's just hit apply. And let's listen to how great a job it's done. Kind of like an organ bass. So very clean. Here's something a little different. So here we've got some vibraphone, some guitar. I'm going to bring up Stem Splitter. And here I'm going to have it extract everything. And 
no submixes, and I want to see how cleanly it'll extract the vibraphone as the other instrument, because this arrangement has piano, bass, drums, guitar, and vibraphone. So the whole other category should just be the one instrument. And I think Stem Splitter is going to do a pretty good job. So again, it's muting the original. And also with this new version of Stem Splitter, it'll route the outputs of the track stack that it created to the same output that the original track is on. Now, in this case, they're just going to the stereo output. So it's not an issue. But if you're working in a complex arrangement, that's what it'll do. It'll maintain your routing. So here's other. Beautiful. Guitar. And the solo later on. Piano. Bass. Drums. So that's the new Stem Splitter version 2.